changed since the last time I'm at the theatre. I can't believe all the Americans out there. It's one Vietnam. <laughs> and don't they rip the tourists off here? God, I couldn't believe it. I thought, shall I buy an ice cream with a Cadbury's flaking or a villa in Marbella? <laughs> I'm staying in a fabulous hotel, and, um, well, of course, I, I can't tell you which one it is. <laughs> of all the women come round afterwards and try and... <laughs> but I'll give you a hint. It's called the Alverston Manor. <laughs> and, um, fabulous towels. Great big fluffy fleecy towels. I can hardly close my suitcase. <laughs> Somebody's trying to buy Birmingham City again. <laughs> they must be off the top, mustn't they? I mean, like, I mean, it's a secret. They won't, they won't say who it is. I reckon it's Sketchless. <laughs> <laughs> the last bloke to try and buy him was Richard Branson. Yeah, I mean, no wonder he tried to kill himself in a balloon. But... <laughs> He tried to buy Birmingham City, and part of the deal was, you know, get this, part of the deal was that the players ran round the pitch with Virgin written on the shirt. <laughs> They'd never scored in their lives, and they got Virgin. <laughs> Mind you, it's the pits in the third division, I've got to admit that. I mean, it's taken us 102 years to get there, but we finally made it. <laughs> I went to a game after Christmas and I, I said to the bloke standing next to me at half time, Oi! <laughs> There's the cameras there, they had to fake a right between the police and St John's ambulance men. <laughs> I've got to tell you this. <laughs> They've got this new lottery ticket at Birmingham. It's called the Golden Gold, right? And, and you buy this ticket. It's about 25p. And you open it up and there's a time in the ticket. And if the time is the same as the goal that Birmingham scored first, you win 500 quid, right? So I bought this ticket. I opened it up and it's got October in it. <laughs> Thrown it away, there's no chances. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but the villa are doing so well. Oh, right. Oh, I thought you might be in you. For the best of villa, eh? Fuck the villa, just. Yeah, right up the villa. Villa. Two syllables, you know, Birmingham City. What bloody chance have they got to support them? I was doing loads of news oh, a few months ago. I was doing all that Ken Dodd business. I was doing half an hour on Ken Dodd. <laughs> and what a lawyer he had. He could get Stevie Wonder a driving license. <laughs> He's got two new Diddy men, you know. Diddy Pay and Diddy L. <laughs> Good old Doddy, eh? Good old dude. They're called Doddies in the business now, you know, if you want some Doddies. <laughs> Taken over from Piggott's, you know. <laughs> ah, I've just come back from Spain. Have you? Yes. <laughs> I flew out from East Midlands Airport. Have you ever, have you ever used East Midlands Airport? <laughs> Isn't it quaint? <laughs> It's a nice Diddy Airport, isn't it? It's the only runway I've seen with a cattle grid. <laughs> They've got air traffic control. It's a bloke with a megaphone. Get out the bloody road! <laughs> and I, I 
flew on this knackered airline. I can't tell you which one it is, obviously, but like, I walked across to get on the plane, and the pilot was kicking the tyres. <laughs> Yeah, I should get us there. Hey, hey. They're trying to jump lead it from the Vauxhall Viva. You know? I got on the plane, they took the steps away and the plane fell over. air hostess with a sense of humour. It's unique, isn't it? I said, what time do we get in? She said, I don't know. We've never made it yet. <laughs> we started off down the runway. And I thought we're never going to bloody take off here. I looked out the window. We're on the M1. <laughs> Stopped off at the services for the Vimto and the wagon wheel. Yeah. <laughs>